We want to evaluate or simplify the given expression. Following the order of operations, the first step is to simplify within the parentheses, which means for our expression, we begin by determining one-seventh minus one-fifth in the parentheses. In order to add or subtract fractions, we need a common denominator, hopefully the least common denominator, which in this case is the least common multiple of seven and five. And since the only common factor between seven and five is one, the least common multiple or least common denominator is seven times five, which is 35. We begin by writing one-seventh and one-fifth as equivalent fractions with the denominator of 35. And since seven times five is 35, we multiply the numerator and denominator of one-seventh by five. And since five times seven is 35, we multiply the numerator and denominator of one-fifth by seven. One-seventh is equivalent to five thirty-fifths. One-fifth is equivalent to seven thirty-fifths. And now subtracting, the denominator remains 35, and the numerator is five minus seven, which is equal to negative two. We now have negative two thirty-fifths divided by three-fourteenths. Dividing by a fraction is the equivalent to multiplying by the reciprocal, which means dividing by three-fourteenths is the equivalent to multiplying by fourteen-thirds. So let's write this as negative two thirty-fifths times the reciprocal of three-fourteenths, which again is fourteen-thirds. And now to multiply fractions, we multiply the numerators and denominators. However, we do want the product in simplified form. So let's first write the product as negative two times fourteen over thirty-five times three. In this form, we will now simplify out the common factors between the numerator and denominator before determining the products. Notice 14 and 35 share a common factor of seven. And since there are two sevens in 14, or because 14 divided by seven is two, the 14 simplifies to two. And since there are five sevens in 35, or because 35 divided by seven is five, the 35 simplifies to five. Notice now the only common factor between the numerator and denominator is one. So now we can determine the products and no, the fraction will be in simplest form. In the numerator, we have negative two times two, which is negative four. In the denominator, we have five times three, which is 15. The expression simplifies to negative four fifteenths. I hope you found this helpful.